All right, so I'm in the fallback mode, right? Which is basically a lot like uh, GNOME 2, but it's not. It's, uh, you know, uh, GTK3, GNOME 3, uh, the GNOME panel, you know, which are, uh, you know, the panel on top and bottom, and your uh, Nautilus file browser. So that's pretty much what it is. You know what I mean? But um, right now there's no comp is enabled because with this uh, newer uh, panel, you can't really modify it too much. You can't you can't move stuff around with the comp is being enabled. So you have to log into the classic desktop without comp is or out or without effects in order to do your thing. You know what I mean? To to uh, add applets or move stuff around or delete panels, you have to be here. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, just to have a little quick look around. If you're familiar with GNOME 2, then this is pretty much you know you feel right at home. Uh, the only gripe I kind of have with it is is because it's you know GNOME 3 or GTK 3 or whatever, it's using Nautilus 3. You know what I mean? So I never really liked Nautilus. I don't I don't have anything against Nautilus 3. You know what I mean? It's just the look of it looks kind of weird, but it works. You know what I mean? It's functional. It's just that uh the side uh, panel right here is just kind of odd to me. You know what I mean? It just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But other than that, you know Nautilus 3 is fine. It works. But anyways, um, let me see, what can I show you? Same thing as before, you know I mean? There's no system menu right here. It's basically down here. System tools, administration, then your preferences is right here. Um, that's usually up here, you know what I mean? Your places, uh, your recent documents is here. You can just go ahead and delete that if you want to. Clear all your recent stuff. Um, you know, applications, games, just like before. And so it looks like it's broken up too into subcategories as well. So that's cool, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so anyways, like what GNOME 2 is pretty much famous for is like the whole comp is cube and the customization, the applets, just the whole, um, how can I say, the, the modifications, right? You can basically build your desktop to the way you like it, you know what I mean? To whatever, it's wild or, or basically just real simple or just with a dock, make it like a Mac wannabe or whatever, or uh, you know, whatever is to liking. That's that's what was really cool about GNOME 2. It's just like whatever you wanted to be. And now with this fallback mode, you can actually kind of achieve that, what you used to have. It's not 100% there. I'll get into that a little bit later, but you know I mean? To, to actually move stuff around, it's pretty simple. Just go up to the top and hold Alt, press right click, and now you can move. You can move this around, see? Like so, or Alt and remove like that right so if I want to add something that back to it again you have to right click I'm sorry alt and right click add to a panel and just look for menu like so I'm gonna use the, the standard one the smaller menu bar which is this right here oops I got something right here let me get rid of that there we go alright so now I got the smaller menu bar now it's all broken up down here Got busy real quick. Anyways, um, another thing that also added was the uh, indicator applets, uh, indicator applet app menu. So that's basically your global menu. So if you want to do, if you want to add a global menu, you can um, just look for it in your uh, Synaptic Package Manager or the uh, Software Center. Drag it in there. So now you have a, a global menu if you want it. There you go. Now my menus that were here are now up here. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. And of course, you can add other stuff as well, um, like another clock or whatever. Um, the force quit or a notification area, which is uh, this right here. Little applets and stuff. A separator, shutdown, sticky notes, whatever you name it, it's there. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and and, uh, and log out of this fallback mode without the without the effects. And log into the uh, compass session of it, so I can show you some stuff that you can that you can actually do that you used to do before, and stuff that are still kind of buggy. You know what I mean? Anyways, back in a couple seconds. Okay, so here I am using the fallback mode again, but with the compass session enabled. Um, you know, I got my global menu going on, and as you can see, there's a you know a drop shadow. That's what compass kind of does. You know, uh, I got some animations. You know, anyways. Um, I guess the cool thing about the uh, the fallback section now is that um, pretty much what you do, or whatever you do in, in the uh, Compass Config Settings Manager, it should stay within the fallback mode and not in Unity. You know what I mean? So if you uh, log into Unity, you're not going to have whatever you did in here. 
uh, transfer over to Unity. So, anyways, let's go ahead and enable like the, the wobbly windows or whatever, like so. And uh, you can enable the cube, but I, I'd be kind of cautious about it because it does, it might freeze up your desktop. You know what I mean? Let me see. I'll try it right now. See what it does. Let's try uh, rotate, disable, enable desktop cube. Yes. Disable wall. Yes. And there it goes. All right, let's see if it'll turn. There it goes. But it's only like a flat surface, right? So uh, I believe you need to go to. Um, can't remember. Is it general? Desktop size. Let's try vertical. Let's put one, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, there we go. Four. So there you go. Now you have the cube going on. And of course, you can install some extra Compass plugins if you want, you know, for like 3D windows or extra animations. Um, one thing I did notice is that uh, sometimes, not all the time, um, when you minimize something, let's try uh, minimize. There we go. Let me raise the uh, delay, the uh, delay time, like this, and we'll switch that to like something else. We'll go random random then even though it's on random you can still select a a, a, pit, a particular one rather than it be a random so if i just minimize it's a random minimize you know what i mean but if i don't want it to be random anymore i just pick one like magic lamp right here now it's just it'll always be magic lamp i guess but anyways i don't know if you've seen that or not let me lower down some more there's a little bit of a bug it's like a transparency bug or something There it goes. See how when it minimizes, it goes transparent, like so. It's really hard to see, but you can you see how it, it comes back up, uh, you know, solid, but it goes down, you know, transparent. That's one bug that I noticed. And also, when you drag a window over, see how the hand came off the title title bar, like so. It's way way off. There's that going on. Um, also, like other stuff as well. Um, well, with that little hand bug right there, I tried to work around that and it doesn't work. Um, I tried turning off the grid feature, this right here, and that doesn't work either. It's still there. So there is, it is a little bit quirky, but it's still usable, you know what I mean? You can still, uh, you know, not use the cube if you wanted to, like, choose not to do that and just use a single single workspace. And, you know, you can still have all your compiz effects and whatever, and you can, if you wanted to, you can remove the bottom bar and put a dock if you want kind of give you that older whatever it is you used to do back then I guess you know still here I guess you know what I mean but the, like I said there's still some quirks little little weird stuff going on um, you still have your little applets as well your rhythm box applet your your uh, instant messenger is still there your uh, you know mail Ubuntu one whatever it's all there still so that's pretty cool it's an option you know it's it's a uh, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to use Unity, and if you don't want to use Shell, you can still have something similar to your old uh, GNOME 2. Still, you know what I mean. So, anyways, that's all I can really say about it. If you're familiar with GNOME 2, it's pretty much the same thing to a degree. Um, just some minor little quirks here and there. But anyways, it's good to see it back. You know what I'm saying. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later.